Hey guys, here's a short track guide for the GR86 Cup at the Roods Kogan Motor Center. For this track guide, I'm going to show you the hot lap first, and then I'm going to break down the lap in slow motion and show my approach to each corner. And before I get to the track guide, I ask for a review of the settings that I'm using. For this lap, I'm using a track temperature of 87 degrees, air temperature of 78 degrees, and track usage of 35%. Also, I'm using the fixed setup. Now let's get on to the lap. Now let's check out the lap in slow motion. So as we're starting our lap, just getting a good exit out of the final corner, and I'm just going to skip ahead over to turn one, looking at the right side of the track for our brake markers, and as we're passing the 100 board here, I'm trying to aim to brake between this 100 and the start of the curb. So I'd say around one car length or so before the beginning of the curb, getting on the brakes around 60 to 70 percent, maybe 80 percent even at max. Now shifting to second, and as I trail off the brakes, you'll see that the rear starts to get loose. That'll give me some extra rotation, just try to manage that. And then getting on the gas, immediately back to full. Just that way uh, you can carry a lot of speed on entry. The, co the corner doesn't start tightening until later. You can see again the brake just a little bit just for some mid-corner rotation. Partial throttle initially, waiting until I can see the exit of the corner and then I'm getting back to the throttle fully. Not using up all the track on exit though. Initially just cutting back to a shortcut of the distance. Just holding the inside line here. So again, that's kind of a corner where you want to be aggressive on entry and then uh, break in the middle and then get, get back uh, on throttle on exit. So as we go down the hill here, staying in fourth gear, looking on the right-hand side for our brake marker, we'll see this first sign, the 150, and then we're going to look for the third sign, actually, this 50 right here. As we pass the 50, we're going to be getting on the brakes, maybe even a little bit before, but only around like 10 to 20% brake pressure. There's a lot of bumps right here, so you just got to keep the car stable. This brake pressure is almost less to slow the car down and more to force stability. So again, down to third, then a later downshift to second here. And the goal here is to get a really late apex, so turning in, partial throttle, trying to apex at the very end of this curb here. You don't want to run wide here, there really isn't much runoff. See I'm trying to take a very narrow uh, line through here. Now as we approach the S's here, shifting up the third gear, keeping in full throttle initially, but then going down to partial throttle. This just prevents the car from understeering between these S's. Now this first uh, S, we're going back to full throttle just between them, but as we turn right into this next one again partial throttle just to be more precise about the exact line that we're taking just using it putting two sides on the astroturf back to full throttle breaking around 60 percent brake pressure then trailing off making sure we don't bring the car too wide you want to be able to bring the car back if it's too far wide it, you uh you'll kind of get stuck out there so again so you're partial throttling it and as the track starts to go downhill you want to try to get the apex just as it's going downhill you'll get a lot more grip there and you won't understeer out on exit so getting back to full throttle using up all the track on exit and upshifting the third gear 
as we skip ahead to the next corner, they'll be looking at the right hand side of the track for our brake marker, braking just past this 50 sign, around 90% brake pressure initially, and then trailing off as we downshift to first gear. Now first gear is a really short gear here, so get back on throttle really quickly, and you can see we're already at the end of the rev range, shifting back up to second gear. Now as we skip over to the next corner, using up all the track on the right hand side, getting a really wide approach to this corner, getting on the brakes around 40%, just kind of like a tap, partial thrall through this corner and then making sure not to run out too wide here or else you'll also get a 1x. Now as we just go back quickly you can see how you gotta be really cautious with the track limits here. If you, if you bring all four tires inside the white line you'll get a 1x and also if you don't keep two tires on this red and white curb you'll get a 1x as well. So you can see how close you, I got here just barely hanging on there. So you gotta be cautious on, the, on those track limits there. Now as we approach these final two corners, it's really important just to position our car well. So you can see we're taking this partial thrall to put our car in a good position for this long right-hander. Tapping the brakes, bringing the car out wide, kind of diamonding the corner, letting the car coast temporarily, then back to partial thrall. Really just trying to cut back, that way you can get a good exit out of the final corner. Hugging the curbing here, then starting to unwinding the wheel and shifting up the third just as we pass this DRS sign. So skipping ahead to the finish line, full throttle, and that's a lap around the Roots Gogan Motor Center. Once again, here are the things that were used. Hopefully this track guide was helpful. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.